I couldn't tell if you get the data now. All my uh, American friends who think I'm biased against them are going to love this video because this definitely proves I'm not. <laughs> um, I like to give sometimes Martin and Taylor and Gibson a hard time because I just think they're overpriced, that's all. I'm not saying they're not well made or that you can't get good ones or even excellent ones there. But <clears throat> that being said, uh, I bought this in 2017. It's an American made in Bend, Oregon. Uh, Breed Love, Oregon. And it's one of my favorite, favorite guitars. It's, uh, it's impeccable. I put this on the level of uh, construction with my Boucher and materials as well. Got a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous Sitka bookmatch top with some uh, nice bear claw and uh, corn silk in there. Solid, uh, what's that wood native to Northern California and Oregon? Uh, myrtle wood back and sides. Herringbone uh, purfling. I think it's a burnt Canadian maple, rock maple neck. Uh, unique headstock. It's got a unique system, it doesn't have bridge pins. It's got a different system. And uh, I'll just be really honest with you, it's, it's not a cutaway. And I think Breedlove has stopped making these. Shame, shame, shame on you. This is the best guitar, in my opinion, that you've ever made. So uh, why you're not making them is beyond belief to me. You can only get it as a cutaway, and I think that's because Kim Breedlove is no longer involved with the co co company. Uh, some of you my, uh, that may know can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, damn. Why would you stop making such a almost perfect instrument. I think I like it so much. Um, one and three quarter, uh, I think it's one and three quarter uh, nut. Um, super fast, slick, beautiful neck. Ebony uh, fingerboard. Frets are impeccable. I've had this for now seven years almost, six years. This is one guitar. Once I pick it up, I, I, I never want to put it down. I think when I bought it, I played it nonstop for three days. I liked it so much. So. I love this thing. I love it. Um, I think one of the reasons I like it so much, um, I taught myself how to play with a classical that's very similar in shape to that. I think they call it a triple O. And uh, yeah, can't say enough good things about this guitar. So, so any of you think I'm anti-American, think again. You're definitely wrong. Whoever built this sure knew what they were doing. And the price was reasonable at the time. So, uh, all right, Muzak time. I'm going to put in the um, shut off uh, condenser mic and put in the two pickups, uh, figure out what they were. Now, um, I believe the pickup that came with it was an under sandal Fishman, which was okay, but um, for the, the quality of guitar, I didn't like it very much. <laughs> 